Hello friends, it's Jim O'Rear. Today, we are headed down to Orlando to check out the year-round horror collector store called Atomic Horror. Now, we haven't been to the store since we covered it uh, when it opened, which was about well, a little over a year ago. And uh, if you missed that coverage and you are a horror collector and you are in the Orlando area or thinking about coming to the Orlando area and have not heard of this store, we're going to give you a quick look inside. This is Atomic Horror on Colonial Drive in Orlando. And inside here, it's a small shop, but tons of stuff. So we're gonna take a quick look around. You can notice that there is decor everywhere, merchandise everywhere. So much stuff to look at, so much stuff uh, in here. And I'm just gonna give you kind of a brief overview. But there are products galore, as well as tons of photo opportunities. The decor itself is awesome, just like this right here. You're also gonna find certain themed sets of rooms, like this cabin in the woods that has a little deadite coming out of the floor from Evil Dead. And you're gonna see stuff from, you know, Evil Dead all around, like the chainsaw, pages from the Necronomicon, as well as this recorder. It has been a number of years since I began excavating the rooms of Kandar, the group of my colleagues. How cool is that, playing the recording from Evil Dead? But uh, looking around the store, you'll see there's all kinds of stuff in here. You've got action figures and t-shirts and hoodies and sleep pants and uh, uh, cups, candles, various soaps, car fresheners. And this room right here is actually a shrine to Elvira. You can see the couch there, uh, Elvira all over the walls, and lots of merchandise for Elvira here uh, as well. And they've got, uh, you know, Vampira and Wednesday Adams and things kind of mixed in there also. But uh, lots of Elvira stuff in this room from, from bags and books to figures and uh, little ornaments and uh, T-shirts. Like I said, a lot of photo opportunities are full-size figures like this from Scream. Over here from They Live, you can grab a pair of glasses and see the truth for yourself. Over here, Belial from Basket Case watches over Camp Crystal Lake, where you can get a ton of Jason figures and merchandise and shirts and bags, as well as a photo with this full-size Jason figure. This is a fantastic set. Maybe you're a fan of Michael Myers. Lots of Michael Myers stuff here as well. And get a photo with him bursting through the closet doors from the original film. But like I said, lots of, lots of photo opportunities. It's not just a store. You can go in here and have all sorts of photo fun and Instagrammable moments as well. There's a tiki hut. I'm going to show you that in action here in just a second. But uh, really cool photo ops. Now here's that tiki hut in action. You can see it's kind of got a, a watery light going on there, reflection. There's some burning torches outside the window as well as an erupting volcano. Just really, really cool. So taking a look at a little bit more of the merchandise, you'll see there are, um, there's role-playing games, salt and pepper shakers, backpacks. Uh, I mean, you name it, there is something horror related here. Uh, and Killer Clowns from Outer Space, of course. Uh, lots of Scream Grates and plushies and little enamel pins. Fantastic stuff. And things that, that uh, uh, you know, I see a lot of horror stuff. And they've got some stuff in here that I have never seen before. I love this. Love that take on the bride. Lots of Universal Classic Monster things. And makeup kits. These are interesting. Makeup kits made like VHS tapes. Here's Terrifier. And that's Terrifier makeup kit right there that comes in a VHS case, like, packaging. There's one from Evil Dead. There's some Elvira, Return of the Living Dead, Reanimator. And uh, be careful, though, while you're there, not to step in the toxic goo from this mysterious container from Return of the Living Dead. That did not well, work out well for those people at all. There you go. That is a look inside Atomic Horror in Orlando, down on Colonial Drive. It is a fantastic store. 
all kinds of stuff. You'll, you'll make a circle in there four, five, six times and keep seeing something new. So check out Atomic Horror in Orlando. So I hope you've enjoyed watching this video. If you have, click that like button to let the powers that be know that you like the video. And while you're at it, click on follow or subscribe and you'll be notified when I upload new videos. But thanks again for watching and we'll see you next time.